got to spend money to make money. If you're complaining about getting not getting sales and you know somebody can help you, invest. I have my own business. I also do other things in addition to running my business. So to think that I'm going to stop what I'm doing and help you with your business is crazy. To my vending machines, people see I have five vending machines. I just did a webinar. The same people that asked me about vending machines did not join the webinar, okay? happy monday i am back with a day in the life of an entrepreneur a realistic day in the life of a seven figure entrepreneur y'all so i'm super excited you guys my new planner just came in from amazon so let me just show you guys what it looks like if you guys are interested in um this planner it is linked on my amazon storefront which is linked in the description box so it pretty much lays out the week i've never had a planner like this so I'm super excited. I already have everything that I'm going to do today. And I also love the fact that it has like your priorities um, and your what your priority are for this week, like your high priorities, low priorities. OK, so I got everything lined up. I've already started checking stuff off for today. Right now, I'm about to check something else off once I finish these orders. I think I got one more order I can pack, which is a wholesale lash order and a wholesale lip oil order so if you did not know lip oils this is for michelle she ordered um 24 lip oils with her custom scents so she customized her order and she also ordered 25 mm lashes wholesale and she customized her styles so if you are interested in starting a cosmetic business check out my website start with less than a hundred dollars the link is in the description box so we're gonna pick an affirmation card not all my cards are here Affirmation cards are available on my website if you are interested in daily motivation. All breaks, no gas when it comes to your goals. All breaks, I mean, <laughs> all gas, no breaks when it comes to your goals. Somebody needed to see this. All gas, no breaks. Y'all, 2023 is almost over. All gas, no brakes when it comes to your goals. Y'all need to be on it. Y'all need to, you know, just because, oh, 20, no. You still got a few months to get yourself together to get your business on track. Stop playing. So once I pack this order, y'all, I am going to get ready to leave. Today is Monday. So I told you, I don't know if I told you guys in the other video because I did get a new camera. But um, I'm getting in the habit of going out to eat once a week and planning content, working on business stuff because I don't like being in the house. I hate being in the house. It's getting depressing. <laughs> so today I found a new brunch spot on TikTok that I'm going to check out and hopefully it's a vibe. Okay, whether it's a vibe or not, it is a Monday, so I don't expect it to be crowded, but I'm just going there to chill. Um, work on my business anniversary is literally less than two weeks away so i'm having a major blowout sale i'm doing scoops so i'm kind of gonna like outline what i want my flyers to say to promote this event i've pretty much been promoting it every day you know letting people know i'm doing giveaways and stuff like that i'm doing an all pink beauty scoop event so um i have some of the stuff here so if you are interested i'm gonna have beauty blenders keychains headbands lashes lip gloss lip oils everything pink in the bucket so definitely join us that's a tiktok live event um but yeah i'm just gonna be working on that working on my email layouts for that um i also have to prep boxes and stuff but that's not what i'm gonna do when i'm like out eating i haven't ate yet i am thirsty so i'm drinking me some coffee right now and then i'm also recording a day in my life reel as well so yeah aren't y'all proud of me your girl is dressed and it's 10 42 your girl is dressed and ready to go. Um, we got so much to do today. I already wrote for tomorrow. I'm going to the gym, but we got to pack these orders. I got to go to the post office to ship out orders and to collect promo. You guys, I have so much promo in my P.O. box, so I'm super excited. If you are interested in promo, whether it's you want a reel, if you sell something pink and you want a dedicated reel on my Instagram page that has 116K followers now, um, definitely email me for my rates. Um, y'all, I'm still trying to decide. I don't think I'm going to be doing free um, Black Friday promo this year. Usually every year um, I do free promo. Like I, I charge for promo, but for Black Friday, my birthday and um, Christmas and sometimes in between I'll make an exception. But honestly, y'all, this year I don't think I'm making an exception. Oh, y'all, we just got an order. My phone was on silent, though. 
We just got an order for seven ebooks, y'all. So currently I'm running a $5 ebook promotion. So if you are interested in any of my ebooks, starting a business, growing your Instagram, um, holiday prep, she purchased the So You Want to Be a Millionaire, How to Successfully Start a Business, Growing Your Instagram, Daily Guide for Business Owners, Holiday Season Prep, Handbook to Gaining Returning Customers, and Staying Focused. Those are all the ebooks she purchased, all five, 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 five dollars full of information and full of tips. But I don't think I'm doing Black Friday free promo this year because a lot of people, they're just users. And I'm, not, and I'm not speaking on, say, if you're watching this video and you ever sent me an item, I'm not speaking on you, okay? I'm just speaking in general that what I've noticed is even when I charge for promo, I'll do promotions. Like, I've done a $50 promotion for smaller businesses to send me an item, and they never participate in those. But when it comes to free promo, you know, you know how to comment on my YouTube videos, then you know how to engage. But other than that, those people be ghost for the most part. So I just don't want to partake in that. I'm tired of being used. You know, you want you want to use me when it comes to promoting your business, but you don't support me in any other way until I'm promoting your business. You feel what I'm saying? So I just don't like that energy. So, um, yeah, so I don't think I'm doing small business promo this Black Friday. I will be doing a joint webinar with my friend. So stay tuned for that. I probably will also be doing boot camp again. So if you missed my boot camp last year, don't miss it. Make sure you're following on Instagram. Boot camp is only going to be posted on Instagram. I never send out emails because it's only a few slots. I think last year I had it open to five people or three. I really don't remember, but... My Black Friday boot camp is basically a month, like the month before Black Friday, basically like preparing you for Black Friday, helping you with whatever you need help with. My mentoring is also going to start in um, September, well, October, end of September, October. But with my mentoring, that's not going to be posted anywhere because that's kind of an exclusive thing. That's only for people that have paid for my phone calls. So I keep a record of the people, especially recently, that have been doing my phone calls and the ones that have mentoring. I started their names. So once I start my mentoring, I'm going to send out all the info to them and first come, first serve. So it's not going to be, you know, open to everybody because my mentoring, I want to help people who have taken, you know, advantage people who I've worked with before so um it's not going to be open to just oh you can go on my website because it's not about the money it's not about every and, and you know any and everybody going on my website I have my own brand to focus on and I think people forget that too it's like entrepreneurs I just did a YouTube video on this like you got to invest in your business you got to spend money to make money if you're complaining about getting not getting sales and you know somebody can help you invest invest in it okay but um People don't be wanting to um, invest. So it's like if you I have my own business, I also do other things in addition to running my business. So to think that I'm going to stop what I'm doing and help you with your business is crazy. Like the just that logic. I've never been that kind of person. I really don't know. Like nowadays it's getting crazier, especially when it comes to my vending machines. People see I have five vending machines. I just did a webinar the same people that asked me about vending machines did not join the webinar, okay? All the people that joined my webinar for the most part were brand new people, but one. One is at every webinar that I do, and she knows who she is if she sees this video. But I got this one customer, no matter what webinar I do, she's in attendance. She's always in attendance. She's in attendance on my Patreon. But, um... All the people I'm saying, like when I go live, that's in my comments and my DMs, not a single one of those people joined the webinar. So it's like, I can't help those who can't help themselves. If I'm doing a $25 webinar, other people are charging thousands of dollars for their courses, hundreds of dollars for their webinar. I'm charging $25, $25 to ask me whatever you want to ask me about vending machines for $25. Somebody that has five vending machines that invested over $25,000 in purchasing her machines, who has four mall locations, who secured locations in six months, and you don't want to pay $25, but you'll pay for Netflix, but you'll pay for Zeus, but you'll pay for design. You get what I'm trying to say, y'all? People's logic be so crazy to me, but hey, I'm not tripping on it. And that's why I told y'all, I, I told y'all in my previous video, from now on, my webinars will not have no playback. It's either you pay it or you don't. It's that simple. So I'm done with this last order. I'm about to show y'all the orders we're about to pack. 
um i actually also have to record content so i'm basically gonna record myself you know a reel putting my packages on the cart packing up my bag um i'm bringing my planner i'm bringing my laptop my camera's actually about to die so i'm about to put her to charge really really quickly so while i'm recording the content on my phone i'm gonna have okay y'all so these are the orders that i am shipping out today so now i'm gonna just show you guys quickly my essentials so this is my planner i'm also going to bring this other planner it's from keeping up with me llc and this planner basically has notes and um trackers planning i got to strategize for the month of september because like i told you my four-year business anniversary is coming up so i gotta work on my content flyers i'm gonna have so many flyers made banners made so i'm gonna lay all of that pretty much out in this book my laptop my macbook and I'm also going to bring this tripod as well. My phone is on one and I'm going to bring another one for my phone as well. And then I have my fan because, y'all, it is way too hot in Texas. <laughs> this is another phone stand, um, pen, my keys, and my chargers. So I'm also going to charge my phones really quickly. So I'm going to basically record a reel right here on my phone of me basically packing everything into the bag. If y'all follow my business page and my personal page, then y'all have seen this. So I'm basically gonna do that right now and I'm gonna let y'all charge. Okay, you guys, so we are at the post office. So I'm about to ship out orders, check my PO box. Onyx is here, I got my tripod, the orders, I'm about to get them out and we're gonna check the PO box. Okay, y'all, so this is where we're eating brunch. y'all so i just finished brunch y'all that avocado toast was so good okay i'm definitely gonna come back to this spot but actually y'all the spot that i came to is not where i originally planned on coming i actually planned on going somewhere else but they were closed today because a lot of uh brunch spots in dallas they be closed on like mondays or tuesdays so the spot that i found on tiktok actually was closed so i just googled brunch spots and this one popped up and i feel like i've heard of it before but y'all the food was so good so I did not get to work on everything I planned on working on because they closed at 3 o'clock and right now it's 3.13. So I didn't want to be the only one in there and them tell me like to leave. But I finished my food and everything. I did start working on my content for my anniversary sale. So I could kind of tell y'all about that. I hope my AC is not too loud. So I kind of went ahead and like laid out my flyers for my sale so my banner for my website my sale flyer i already um emailed everything to my graphic designer and then i started working on some youtube ideas so i'm probably going to do a video i wrote down two ideas one video is scalable online business ideas so i'll basically do a video giving ideas that are business ideas that are scalable and explaining and then uh how i started my lash business on a budget video so those are two video ideas that I wrote down um, and then I worked on my sale flyers like I said so I do have to go back on live tonight because I am doing a lash raffle I always do raffles on live you guys so if you are interested in any of my raffles I always do to win 100 pairs of lashes um, or whatever you know is in stock so that's the rest of my agenda for tonight I don't know why I'm getting tired all of a sudden y'all and the strawberry cake was so good i'm so mad i wanted a mimosa i wanted a cocktail so bad y'all but i left my wallet at home and the server didn't believe me i'm like i'm 25 26 so she probably thought i was lying but my birthday recently passed so i was like i'm 20 26 but she didn't believe me even though i was like i got my id on my phone so i couldn't get me a drink um and then because I didn't have my wallet, I had to pay with Apple Pay, so I had to hand them my phone. And then the lady going to bring me my phone back talking about what kind of business do you do? Because it, I used my business credit card and I was like, lashes? She was like, well, you don't got no lashes on. No, I don't, ma'am. I wear lashes when I do my makeup and go out. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go back home. I'm not sure how far I am from home. I just posted a reel on Instagram basically of my day, shorter, shorter form of what I'm doing now. So... 
Oh yeah, y'all, I got a promo item. So the other promo items were not in my P.O. box. I did get the tracking number for it, so I guess it did not ship. So let me show you guys really quickly this item. It's a bathing suit. I already know what's in here. This is like my third time working with this girl, y'all. Like, this is my third time working with her. Third time getting paid for promo. So she sells bathing suits. So I got this Dior bathing suit. And I like bathing suits with, um, what is on my face? I think a feather or something got on my face, but I like bathing suits with the adjustable strings. I don't know what you call this because I've been, those of y'all that have been following me, I have been on a weight gaining journey like the past year-ish. Not no more though, like I'm not forcing myself to gain weight. I'm kind of happy with the weight that I am now, but I have been on a weight gaining journey and then I'm also in the gym to like make sure like, you know, I'm my weight is in the right places. So... I like adjustable bathing suits to where you can, you know, cause my, I wear, I feel like I wear a small top, but when it comes to like swimwear, the bottom is a medium, but it also depends. So I just like these cause you can, you know, adjust it how you want. Same for the top. I can adjust it how I want it to, you know, adjust it and stuff like that. So this is what I got. So I'm going to record the content for this when I go home. All she wanted was a picture. Like she just wanted me to tag her in my story. So I'm just going to do like an aesthetic type of picture where I lay it down on the table with sunglasses and a purse. So that's the type of content I'm recording for her. If you, I don't know if I said it already, but if you are interested in promo and working with me, if you sell pink, I have a pink Instagram page with over 116K thousand followers. Reach out to me for my promo rates. They do start at $100, FYI. So, you know, before you email me that it's at least $100, depending on what you want. I do reels. I don't, I really just only do reels. I don't do picture content. Um... So I usually do reels. I also tag it in my story. I also post it on my business page. So if you sell journals, if you sell planners, I can do those for $50. So if you sell journals, planners and stuff like that, you could pay $50 and I will post it on my business page, incorporate it on my personal page. So I go above and beyond for my promos. Okay, I go above and beyond. So just reach out to me via email. The email is in the description box. Serious inquiries only, please. Please do not waste my time. If you are not ready to pay, if you are not serious, please do not waste my time. Okay? So I'm about to be on my way home, you guys. And then once I go home, I'm going to go live. I do need to go get my tire fixed, y'all. Let me make, first of all, let me make sure I got everything done off the to-do list. I do need to go get my tires fixed, but I might wait till tomorrow because I do have to go to the gym. So I edited my YouTube video. I'm doing the last raffle. I packed orders. I went to the post office. I paid my Amex. I'm vlogging. I did my business call this morning. So I pretty much got everything done off of the to-do list. Other things that were on my to-do list is, um... Scheduling posts for Pinterest. Stop sleeping on Pinterest, y'all. If you have not been making money off of Pinterest, go on my website and get the video course, Make Money Off of Pinterest. So I need to schedule some posts for Pinterest. I also need to um, prep boxes for my anniversary sale. I got so much stuff that came in, so I guess I can work on that. But um, right now, like I said, it's only like three o'clock, so it's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes to get home. And then I'm going to get on live, um, try to get some more sales, promote my ebooks. But yeah, that pretty much sums up a chill day in my life. Like the next two weeks are pretty much going to be chill because my anniversary sale is literally less than two weeks away. So ideally, um, all of my customers are waiting for the sale. I have been getting orders and stuff, but it's not as much because everybody is waiting for the sale. So that's why I'm pushing my digital products right now. So the ebooks, I have the $5 ebook promotion going on until my site closes because of course, once my website is closed next week, I'm not gonna be making no money as far as my website goes for those days. So um, I'm trying to push the ebooks okay, out. y'all, so change of plans. I'm actually not gonna go home because literally the spot right next to the spot that I was at, they just whipped out a happy hour sign and it's from 3 to 7 p.m and like i told y'all it's currently 3 22 so i'm about to give me a happy hour drink and work on the rest of my content because i told you guys i didn't finish planning my content i need to plan reels i need to like you know really market also y'all i'm thinking let me know if y'all want me to drop an ebook i'm thinking of dropping an ebook um 
basically for like dropping not like for having a big sale, major sale, like how to prep for that type of event. Because y'all know for like Black Friday, my anniversary sales the past few years, it has been major event, successful event as far as like my online sales and orders and things like that. So I might do a little guide, but we also gonna discuss it in the webinar because I'm doing a webinar in September. It, I don't know if, I think it's gonna be the second or third week of September. It's dropping the same week as the anniversary sale. So make sure you copy your tickets to join the webinar if you're interested in marketing tips. So we're about to go to this place for happy hour. She said, I told her I don't have my ID. She said, as long as I have it on my phone. So we're about to go in here and work, y'all. Before I sign about to be on my way home, y'all. I'm so glad I went to that bar. Cause I literally got so much done I came up with six different real ideas for my business page so when it comes to my personal page I really don't have to worry about content because I can always incorporate you know like a day in my life as an entrepreneur which that technically that's more than six ideas because I do plan on doing another day in my life as an entrepreneur I haven't been shipping out orders every day because like I told y'all earlier um, due to my anniversary sale people are not shopping like that and even like after the anniversary sale i already know people are gonna shop like you know because it's gonna bring a lot of traffic to my page when i post my orders and stuff but people are really not gonna shop as much until black friday so then when black friday is like a big rush and then christmas a big rush so um Either way, I'm trying not to ship out orders every day. Before in the past of my business, I would literally go to the post office every single day and that is draining, okay? It's very draining. So now I'm going to the post office at least two times a week or maximum two times a week, three if if needed, okay? So I went to the post office today, which is Monday. The next time I plan on going is probably on Thursday because I do have inventory coming in tomorrow as well as on Wednesday, but the Wednesday one is what's the everyday lashes pre-order so that's when i'll ship those orders out so if fedex comes in the morning i'll ship out wednesday if it, they come in the evening i'll ship out on thursday so that's when i'll record another day in my life video so that will be you know idea number seven so i came up with a bunch of different ideas uh, morning routines uh, me showing my products it's like incorporated with everything my affirmation cards so I came up with six ideas I also came up with two YouTube videos I told you guys about so today was definitely a success so right now I'm about to go home go live finish my raffle and then I'm taking the rest of the night off shower relaxing I may record one or two of the ideas that I did um write down so that way it could be ready to go for tomorrow because I don't have any scheduled content I posted today's reel already but thank you guys for joining me and for joining me I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life as an entrepreneur um I hope y'all watch this video all the way to this point if you watch this video all the way to this point comment day in the life or entrepreneur vlog but thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button check out my other videos stay tuned for september 4th you guys i'm telling y'all y'all don't want to miss that sale y'all don't want to miss the giveaways you don't want to miss the scoops on tiktok live sign up for the event and i will see y'all on the next vlog